What's up guys? Welcome to the third part of how to draw the Coca-Cola can with Copic markers. If you haven't seen the first two parts, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But before we get started, let's talk about art supplies. You can find the full list of art supplies in the description of this video as well. I'll be using five Copic markers. Go green number one, number three, number five, number seven, and black color. Almost all of them I used in my two previous videos as well. I'll be also drawing with my favorite Uni Posca white pen, white pastel pencil, and dark blue colored pencil. And I'm using a Copic sketchbook. Feel free to use any other marker paper you like. And you can also download a free coloring page. I left a link in the description of this video. You can print it out and start drawing with me. So let's get started. First, I'm checking if I didn't forget to put a sheet of paper under my drawing to protect the next page of my sketchbook. And I'm using Canson tracing paper this time, but in case you don't have the tracing paper, any other thick paper would work as well. And I always put a small piece of paper near my drawing, so I can test the marker color before drawing in the sketchbook. Because I've noticed that it's easy for me to grab a marker, start drawing with it, and a few seconds later I realize that I took it the wrong color. I started drawing with the lightest gray color I have, which is Copic Cool Gray number no. 1, and step by step I'll be adding darker colors and building more contrast. So right now my goal is to color with Copic Cool Gray number no. 1 everything that has gray color on my photo reference and leave some space for highlights. And if you take a look at the photo reference, you'll clearly see what parts of the can we need to leave uncolored.
using mostly Copic sketch markers which have this very flexible brush nib and as you see it's a little bit hard to draw a fine line using this marker although I think it's a great tool for filling large parts of the drawing and also for mixing colors and creating beautiful gradients but in case you have a marker with a fine nib Use it instead of the brush. It will help you carefully draw the shadow around the border of the can. And here's a quick tip. When you're coloring with Copic markers or when you're blending them, try to follow the shape of the object. It will help you to emphasize the shape and create a more neat looking drawing. Next, I'll be drawing with a black color the darkest parts of our drawing, the hole in the can and shadows. And actually, I could have used this color first, because to be honest, there is no need to layer black on top of the gray color. But I don't like the idea of starting my drawing with a black color, and also I wasn't sure if I needed to use a black marker or cool gray number 5 would be dark enough. That's why I started with a gray color first and added a darker color later. And if you don't have a black marker, you can use the darkest gray color you have and layer it two to three times. It will help you to create a dark gray shade as well.
How black color is adding depth to my drawing and as you see I keep using different markers at the same time I blend dark colors into the light ones to create a smooth gradient at this point I'm gonna use a dark blue colored pencil the same colored pencil I used in my two previous videos the reason I'm using the same markers and pencil shades as before is because I want my drawing to look consistent and more balanced in terms of color palette. And now I'll be using the dark blue colored pencil to underline the shadows of the object and add my contrast and details to my drawing. And also just because I love drawing with pencils. But this step is optional. You can skip it if you like using only markers. Let 
let's use a white pen to add final details and correct mistakes. I'm using my favorite Uniposca white pen. This is a great opaque pen which is perfect for drawing on top of markers. But in case you don't have it, a white gel pen or pencil would work as well. And this is it for now. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And here is my Instagram if you want to see more of my drawings. Thank you for watching and take care.